Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Mantis Shrimpa, and that's my uh, banded cat shark on the left, and on the right, that's my pretty lipped clownfish. Um, it's a very large clownfish. I'd say he's about five and a half to six inches long. Um, my shark's about a foot and a half, maybe. Yeah, a foot and a half about. And uh, on the top right hand corner, um, there is a fuzzy dwarf lionfish. Um, he's not like a regular lionfish. Uh, the only poisonous parts of him are the, his back, his dorsal fin spines. Um, not his pectoral fins uh, like I think a regular lionfish is. But uh, he also has his pectoral fins are like a fan instead of sticking out like spikes like a regular lionfish. So he looks more like a scorpion fish even though he's part of the scorpion fish family of the scorpion a day family. And uh, here's three green chromies kind of hanging out. Some frozen krill up there. Uh, there's a domino damsel in here somewhere. I think he's, there he is. And uh, there's my frogfish, my white fingered frogfish right there. His name's Frogger, how appropriate. And uh, he's part of the angler family. And he walks along the bottom of the tank in hope to eat unsuspecting fish that come by. He has a lure that sticks out the top of his head like an angler fish. Only problem is it doesn't have a light bulb on the top. It looks more like a worm or an insect or something. Uh, the clownfish is pretty safe in this tank. I know some of you are like, this tank's not big enough. But uh, if I get a sea anemone, clownfish rarely travel far away from the sea anemone their whole entire life as they are a uh, parasite as to the sea anemone as a host. And they will stay near it um, their entire life. So if I put it in one side of the tank, like over here by, by him, then um, the clownfish probably won't ever go to the other side of the tank its entire life. Um, if you don't believe me, you can look it up. Google it. Um, so, it's big enough for him and the scorpion fish. Scorpion fish doesn't move around a lot. Uh, the frogfish could probably use a tank maybe twice as big as this, but it's alright because I feed him pretty regularly. So, he's not in any danger of not finding food. Um, He's actually in a tank that was as big as as the one that I bought him from. So for all you shark lovers out there, uh, don't worry because he's perfectly safe, and um, nothing bad's gonna happen to him. There's there's a better shot of my dwarf lionfish down there. Oh, and I guess that uh, my shark just kind of swam up and swam back down. Um, scared me. My uh, pretty lipped clownfish right there is really cool looking. Um, so anyways, sharks are almost 100% blind. Uh, eels are 80% blind. Uh, sharks and eels have one thing in common. They can smell really good in the water. So they can smell a drop of blood in like a million gallons of water or something like that. One one millionth of a drop of blood in a gallon of water or something. So they're pretty, uh, their sense of smell is really keen, acute, whatever. Um, <clears throat> here's what my tank looks like from a distance. Um, I'm going to get a larger one pretty soon. Um, looks like there's Frogger. My five. Uh, he's my angler fish. You can see the lure on top of his head up there. And, uh, he's a white-fingered frogfish. Um, the tank I got him from was as big as this one. Um, he and the other fish are friends. They don't mess with each other. He's actually probably the most peaceful. Him and the clownfish are probably the most peaceful of all the fish to one another. And they get along with all the other fish pretty well. Um, the shark has a problem with the scorpion fish or the lionfish or whatever, but they don't care because nothing's going to transpire of it. He can't. The shark can't eat him. And the scorpion fish can't eat the shark, so... They're just gonna have to befriend one another. And, um, yeah, I think this tank's just a little bit larger than the tank I got him out of. Um, it's the same size as the one I got the scorpion fish, the frog fish, and the clown fish out of. So, I think they'll all be alright in here. They seem to stay out of each other's way. Uh, the chromies are probably gonna get eaten. But, yeah. <clears throat> and probably the domino damsel. I don't know where he went. He's back there. There he is. 
But, um, I don't know. If I feed them regularly, I don't think they will. I think they'll be alright. And it's hard to get them to eat frozen food other than live food, but, uh, you know, they're all pretty particular about eating live things. So, I don't know. But I hope I get to keep my chromies. That'd be kind of cool. But, uh, if shark gets what the shark wants. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. Alright, bye.